Okay, so if you're just starting off making YouTube videos or you've been making videos for a while and you're not happy with the type of dark background that you have in your videos, I'm gonna show you some really easy tips and some really affordable ideas of how you can brighten up your background for your YouTube videos to make it look a little bit more ambient, a little bit more professional and a bit cinematic. These are very easy things that you can do and anyone can start trying any one of these different lighting tips that I'm going to showcase. Now you all may already have a studio light or a ring light or softbox, anything that will help lighten you up as the main subject, but maybe you don't have enough lighting in the background. Let's go ahead and showcase some of the things that I use for my videos that actually make the backgrounds look a little bit more cinematic. Starting off with just a normal floor lamp. Now I've got a floor lamp in the corner there. I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on just so you can see what it looks like just lighting up with a blank canvas with all the lights off in my background and see how that looks. There we go, you can see it's starting to come alive, but you can see on this side of the room it's still pretty dark. So if you are going to have a floor lamp or maybe even a tabletop lamp somewhere, it does a nice little ambient lighting in the background, but you'd also want to illuminate maybe the entire background. So on this side of the room, I'm going to turn on some fairy lights because I think that's a very easy, simple, and very affordable way just to make it look very nice for your videos. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And there you go. It does light up and it is quite nice as well. It might not be the brightest of fairy lights, but you know, this is roughly around five to 10 pounds. It's very easy to buy on Amazon or wherever you want. And it's starting to come alive. Now let's move on to some other ideas just to give you a little bit more color and a bit more pop for your videos. I'm gonna go ahead and turn on these lights on the wall here. You can get these either the nano leaf ones or like the ones I have, which are the Govi wall lights. Let's go ahead and turn that on. And there we go. It's very simple to set up. You literally just stick them on the wall, have them in whatever shape you want. And these are controlled via an app as well. So you can change these to any colors, any types of coloring patterns that you like and have them bounce to music, whatever you want to do. There's so many different options that you can do with lights like this. I'm gonna go ahead and showcase some more ideas of how to even make the background pop even brighter so that it looks like a very cinematic background. So let me show you one of the lights which I'm going to do, but from the lower part of the room, which is still pretty dark. And this is quite an easy option as well, is to use light strips. Now I've got 10 meter light strips along the skirting boards along the floor of this room. Let me go ahead and turn them on with the remote control. You may be able to see some of them. So here again with the remote, you can change them to any color you want. And it's very quick and easy to do that. Simple to set up. And again, it doesn't cost that much. It's about nine, 10 pounds. You can see it starts to come alive even more. Now, if you're looking to maybe brighten up a lot of the background, maybe invest in not just like something like a floor lamp, but maybe get some floodlights so that it looks even brighter. Now I have some Novo Stella floor floodlights that I'm using controlled via voice control. And you can also use it via an app as well to turn them on. Or if you just wanna have them at the same setting, you can just plug them in, switch them on, and they just come on as a normal warm white light. Let me go ahead and turn those on. Alexa, turn on the office lights. Now you're starting to see my room get really brighter. Now this is also very great because these floodlights can be controlled and changed to different colors using an app and it's very quick and easy and whatever ambient type of background you want, maybe you want a color match with your channel and the types of things that you showcase on your YouTube videos, then this is also a very great option as well. Now if you don't want to buy a whole bunch of these types of lights, then you can basically use something that you already have around the house. Let's go ahead and showcase what you can do with something like a TV. Because if you have a TV in the background, you can also use that to have a bit of ambient lighting and to illuminate a lot of your dark backgrounds. So let's go ahead and turn this on and see how that looks. And there you go. I've just opened up YouTube and I've just played a fireplace video. Just makes it look very nice and cozy, very ambient type of lighting in the background. And it's not too interfering or too disturbing with your video because it's just like a nice visual that's just constantly on loop. And that's a very quick and convenient way if you do have a TV in your room to utilize that TV just to have a very nice background for your videos. And you can set up any type of ambient loop color theme or any type of artistic visuals just to match the type of content that you create. But for me, I think that's a really good option. And one thing that I have with all of my TVs is have a light strip at the back of the TVs. And I can go ahead and turn that on just to illuminate the back of the TV as well, essentially filling in more light around the room and around some of the other lighting sources. So let me turn that on now. And there you can see the LED strip behind the TV is now lighting up. 
and that again is just illuminating it in very nice colors but one of my favorite things that i've purchased which i know a lot of youtubers are currently using are tube lights now you may be able to see this one especially in the corner next to that floor lamp i've got one in the other corner next to the shelves these are powered by remote controls as well so let me go ahead and turn those on again you can actually change these to various different colors and this is an amazing way just to match whatever color and whatever pop you want in your background and it just gives it a bit more of a cinematic look these are basically all of the light sources that i have in my background if you have a comparison to where i started at the beginning of this video where it was just blank and everything was dark think of that as like a blank canvas for you to experiment with lighting and i've got a link of all of these things in the description in case you ever want to try getting one of these for your backgrounds and just making your videos pop so make sure to do check that out down below and if you have gone ahead and invested in some type of lighting for your background for your youtube videos i'm interested to hear what you've used so make sure to drop a comment down below and let me know what you guys are using for your background lighting if there's anything else you want to know as always drop a comment down below i hope you like this video so make sure to hit that like button make sure to subscribe and i will see you all at the next one take care